Hot 11, a case that is gaining national headlines tonight. A local teenager facing charges she encouraged her friend to take his own life. It's a story we first told you about at 5.30 today. And new at 11, Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has reaction from the victim's grandmother. Well, it's a tragic story with a bizarre twist. The teenage girl who claimed to all her friends that she loved her boyfriend so much allegedly encouraged him to kill himself when he was having second thoughts. According to these Fairhaven police documents, Conrad Roy III took his life Friday, July 12th. He had a history of depression, and according to family members in the report, he attempted to commit suicide once before. Michelle Carter, who claimed to be Roy's girlfriend, was the last person he texted before his death. And it's that conversation investigators are heavily scrutinizing. The report showed text conversations between Carter and some of her friends the night before Roy's death. And on the 11th, a friend asks, did they find him? Carter says, thank you for asking, but no, not yet. I'm losing all hope that he's even still alive. But before Carter responded to her friend, she texted to Roy, quote, let me know when you're going to do it. According to the report, Carter never called 911, but instead continued texting her friends, trying to get sympathy. She really loved him as she said she did. Why didn't she try to persuade him not to? To help prevent suicides, the executive director of Samaritans of Rhode Island tells us her organization's website provides thousands of teens and adults educational tools and takes every threat seriously. If a teen feels that they have a family member or a friend that they are concerned about and may be at risk for suicide, the most important thing that you can do is find a trusted adult that you can talk to. According to the police report, Carter sent messages to Roy's mother a week after his death and then another on August 6th, where a portion of it said, quote, I tried talking him out of it so many times and telling him how we would always be together. And he wanted that, but he thought he would never truly be happy with himself. But as the investigation into Roy's death continued and Carter found out detectives would go through her phone, she texted this message to a friend on September 15th, writing, His death was my fault. Like, honestly, I could have stopped him. I was on the phone with him and he got out of the car because it was working and he was scared. And I expletive told him to get back in. Carter's attorneys say prosecutors are overreaching by charging her with manslaughter. She was not even present uh, when he made a decision, a voluntary, conscious decision to end his own life. Now, Carter will be tried as an adult and she'll be back in court April 17th. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.